uh, JSP elements, how many categories? JSP elements, how many categories? JSP elements are divided into how many categories? Three. What is the first one? Scripting elements. Second one? Directives or directives you can call. Next, actions. Okay. JSP elements divided into three categories. First category, scripting elements. Second category, directives. Third category, actions. First category, scripting elements. Uh, how many scripting elements are there? Four. What is the first one? Scriptlets. Second one, declarations. Third one, expressions. Fourth one, comments. Okay. Uh, scripting elements, four type of scripting elements are there. Scriptlets, declarations, expressions, comments. You have seen scriptlet syntax. What is syntax? Less than percentile. You can write Java code like this. Uh, one more syntax. JSP colon scriptlet. You can write the code. Again, JSP colon scriptlet. Okay. Uh, declaration syntax less than percentile exclamatory mark after that percentile greater than or jsp colon declaration jsp colon declaration next expression syntax equal to again percentile greater than we can also write JSP colon expression. JSP colon expression. Now comments to iPhone symbols. After this, again iPhone to iPhone symbols. Comments only one syntax. Comments only one syntax. Uh, see, JSP elements divided into three categories. First category, scripting elements. Second category, directives. Third category, actions. Scripting elements, four types. Scriptlets, declarations, expressions, comments. So these are the syntaxes. Okay. You can write these syntaxes or you can write these syntaxes. For comment, only one syntax is there. Okay. Uh, now, you have seen already. JSP implicit object references also. See, if you remember these all, you can write JSP program. Otherwise, not possible to write JSP program because JSP is somewhat different. Syntax is a little bit will be there. And the concept, if you remember, you can write. Otherwise, you cannot write. If it is solid, what will happen? You can open the API. You can see, you can call like that. But these all you have to remember. Uh, now, nine object references. What are those? Out. Request, response, config, application, page, page context, session, exception. Okay. Uh, out is a reference of which class, which interface, now uh, which class. JSP writer uh, request HTTP solid request uh, response HTTP solid response config solid config application solid context page object page context Page context, class name also page context, session, 
HDD session. Uh, exception throwable. Okay. Okay. This is all. Job. Nine object references ready to use. Uh, same. Here, here. These four, four syntaxes, syntaxes with the scripting elements. elements. These four, four syntaxes. syntaxes. Okay. Okay. As, as well as, well as these nine, nine object references. You, you can write many programs with this. this. Uh, same. same. With the request, 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 can I access the solid request, request method? method? With the request, request, can I can access the solid request, request method? method? Yes or no? no. Because, because it will be solid request, request, request is there. Sub interface of solid, solid request, request, which is super, super interface. Solid, solid request. request, it is, it is it solid, solid request, request sub interface. interface. You can, you can access. access. Okay. okay. So, so here, it is HDP solid request. It is HDP solid, solid, solid response. Now, now with this request, request, request with this response, response solid, solid request, solid response, response also you can, you can access. Okay, okay. And now, now you are already, already studied. studied. Request, request response, response, context, session, session is all you read out, read out, read out, read out, read Except page context, page context also like a solid context only. Little, little bit different. Is this period like a print writer? These and nine object, object references, concepts, concepts already you studied. So, so let's JSP writer is equal to print writer. Print writer purpose is creating a stream server to browser. Same. We are already created. Ready to use. Need a request. For getting request parameter, this is required. Response. Sending stream. Sending response to a client. Streams. Config. Like, like a initialization parameters, context, context parameters. What's the difference between initialization parameter, context parameters? Initialization parameters, context parameter. Two concepts I explained in solids. What's the difference? Init param, param name, param value, context param, param name, param value. Study no. Uh, what is the difference between initialization parameter context parameter? Very few people are giving answer. Very few people. Initialization parameters are specific to solid. Context parameters are common to all solids in a war file. Study it now. Initialization parameters are specific to solid. Context parameters are common to all solids. Uh, when solid context created? Whenever web application deployed on server. When solid config created? Whenever? Whenever init method is called. Init method when it is called? Pass request comes. Okay? That config only for that solid we can use. But this context for all solids we can use. Okay. Uh, now, HTTP session. Uh, where you studied? Which concept you studied? Session tracking. How many session tracking methods? Four. What are those? Cookies. URL rating. HTTP sessions. Hidden form field. Uh, this is which one? Third one, HTTP sessions. Okay, HTTP session, session tracking by default will be there in JSP. By default, session ID created. Uh, throwable, here exception related. Object, super class for all classes. Okay, uh, these all you studied, but only program only different. Theory part is same. Solid JSP. See, solid, how much time it has taken? More time it has taken? No? Almost one month it has taken. Okay, but JSP very quickly can learn within a one week also you can learn because theory part is same programming part only different theory part same whatever is solid solids like that only so, the programming different solid very lengthy that is simplified in JSP we can reduce the number of lines we can concise the code and it is a convenient way for programmer but uh, HTML solid little bit complicated but uh, HTML JSP very easy 
and also here bean concepts so many other concepts are there directives actions with that very quickly you can develop applications okay uh, now present you are learning scripting elements very basic programs you are learning that is not completed uh, say so nine object references these four scripting elements directly can use yesterday few jsp programs you have seen four five programs you have seen four five are just uh, one minute i'll show you counting number of views also you have seen jsp uh, c3 programs you have seen first dot jsp second dot jsp count dot jsp okay now first dot jsp i'll open uh, this program uh, this is which element scriptlet uh, scriptlet syntaxes I given like this also possible no so like this also possible you can write instead of this one you can write this one also uh, see uh, second dot jsp here also what we used scriptlet uh, in the place of scriptlet this syntax another syntax also you can write jsp colon scriptlet okay uh, then no need to write like this let us again write it is valid see jsp scriptlet jsp scriptlet open jsp scriptlet close it okay uh, now you observe i written out dot println uh, this program i'll run right click run as run on server save second dot jsp say welcome to naresh id okay that is sometimes eclipse immediately cannot recognize still it is showing error only here okay uh, now like this you can write scriptlet uh, suppose count uh, here what is this declaration uh, instead of writing like this you can write jsp colon declaration jsp colon declaration it's over uh, instead of writing this one you can write jsp colon expression okay here jsp colon expression let us also you can write uh, now run as run on server see it is a new this syntax also you can use count dot jsp see working you now uh, count see count increase decrease it is all uh, so yesterday you written programs no uh, those programs you can write this type also uh, just uh, yesterday two program three programs written no uh, just write it the above programs can also be written as follows the above programs can also be written as follows the above programs can also be written as follows
the above programs can also be written as follows. All right, this one, second dot JSP. The above program can also be written as follows. So this is one more way syntax. JSP colon scriptlet, JSP colon scriptlet. You can use that syntax also, this syntax also, both are same. Whichever you feel comfortable, that is you can use. Both are same. Now, just assume if JSP is not there here, like this, not there, uh, what will happen? Confusion comes, which is HTML, which is JSP. Confusion comes, no? That's what they given prefix. That's what they given. Uh, is it over? It is second dot JSP program. Uh, now count dot JSP write it. This is count dot JSP program. Count dot JSP. So in previous program, I used scriptlet. In this program, I used declaration and expression. It is declaration, it is expression. Uh, is it over? So this part is JSP. This part is JSP. Remaining part is HTML. Now this output displayed with HTML or JSP? What is this? HTML. This is JSP. So this page has been accessed directly written. Directly, if you write it with HTML printed. If you want to print with JSP, either this is your write in the expression or your write in the scriptlet. Then out dot print your write. If you use scriptlet, out dot print. If you use expression, directly you can write. Uh, like that, you can use. Uh, is it over? Uh, 
in previous program in second dot jsp i used a scriptlet uh, in count dot jsp i used declaration i used expression okay but a comment it is nothing just ignored by the compiler and that is only one syntax is there uh, now suppose i want to display system time i want to display system time uh, one time program time dot jsp i'll write or time dot jsp next time dot jsp uh, now this is also you will study that is page directive concept directive concept uh, now if you want to display time system time uh, which class we have to use local time or local date a uh, local date only for date local time for only time local date time for both and also java dot util dot date java dot sql dot date many are there okay but uh, util dot date outdated okay uh, no better to go for local time uh, how to create object look uh, that is local time method is there now method uh, that is static method return type also local time uh, what do you write local time lt equal to local time dot now uh, this line where we are tried declaration or scriptlet or expression scriptlet or declaration or expression uh, okay uh, this one suppose if i write declaration uh, if i write declaration uh, when it is executed now when this line is executed whenever object is created uh, that means memory allocated whenever object is created uh, then declaration code executed uh, then is it one time executed or many times executed one time uh, when that is whenever first request comes uh, then whatever time is there that time is going to be displayed but uh, latest time if you want scriptlet declaration not suitable now it will work successfully there is no mistake but problem is whenever first request comes no that time will be there that time only displayed always but we want latest time latest time scriptlet uh, then you can print just lt you can write like this no expression otherwise you can write like this out dot print ln lt let like us also you can write it is scriptlet now two scriptlets also no need to write one scriptlet you can write it is also valid okay uh, now here local time it is available in time package uh, that's what java dot time dot okay uh, java dot time dot uh, actually instead of this one you can import the package you no know? uh, if you want to import uh, scriptlet or declaration or expression if you want to import uh, declaration or expression or scriptlet which one you are right you are selecting one answer <laughs> will you import here no that mean declaration not suitable will you import here no not suitable will you import here uh, where will you import outside the class that mean these all not possible but you are selecting one answer if i give option you select answers you are not thinking see which one required i asked you are selecting declaration some people are selecting scriptlet you observe will you import here if you import here declaration required if you import here scriptlet if you import here expression but where will import outside the class outside the class outside the class means still i didn't explain uh, that is next concept required that is directives page directives required uh, 
Uh, that is later we'll see. That is the reason present I written like this without importing. It is fully qualified name I written directly. Like this also we can write. Then no need to import. But problem is here also you are right. Here also you are right. Two times you are right. Okay, wherever that class name appears with that class name package you are right. Uh, now, like this one scriptlet valid. Otherwise, uh, one scriptlet, one expression. Like that also possible. Uh, now, if I run this program, uh, if you want to add, you can add colors, all those things. BG color, uh, something yellow, text red. Uh, see, if I run this program, Uh, time dot JSP. See system time. Uh, if I refresh, if I refresh, will you get a latest time? Yes. See latest time because I used scriptlet. If I use declaration, will you get a latest time? No. See if I write declaration, now you will not get latest time. Uh, see time dot JSP. Now this is we cannot write no. This out dot printer and we cannot write. That's the reason error came. Uh, this is I'll write like this. Now this is inside the script. Let I'll write. Okay. Uh, this LT we can access. <clears throat> that is sometimes immediately cannot recognize. Uh, see, right click, run as, run on server. Uh, now, if I refresh, see, no changes. Reason, whenever, whenever first request comes, then only this is created. Then only this method called. Uh, at the time, whatever time is there, that time. So, this line is executed whenever first request comes. Uh, whenever first request comes, whatever time is there, that time only continued. Uh, but if you write scriptlet, what will happen? Every request executed because it is inside a service method. It is inside a service method. Every request executed. Uh, so now like this also you can write two scriptlets. But instead of writing one, two, one you can write. It is possible. Okay. Uh, write this program. So if you want to use comment, you can use comment like this. JSP program to display system time. JSP program to display system time. It is comment also used. This is comment. This line is ignored by the compiler while converting. Now I didn't import the package directly. I called with 
class while create while writing class only a written package name while writing package class name only a written package it is called fully qualified class name in corja also you can write like this works instead of importing anywhere anywhere you can write like this also without importing so only lt can i write inside the expression yes or no yes now implicitly which method called here which method two string method called implicitly two string method is going to be called implicitly uh see first dot jsp second dot jsp count dot jsp time dot jsp four programs here seen Uh, is it over? Uh, see, next. Suppose I want to display multiplication table. You have seen these type of programs all in solids. Solids is studied now. While giving basics, some solids I taught. See these all. Time solid, table solid, my solid, mime sub, mime sub, mime type solid, image solid, counter solid, annotation solid. Let us have you know basics. Uh, now you have seen like a time. Uh, now I want to display table format. Table format. Uh, see one multiplication table. Multiplication table. I want to display. Okay. One time multiplication table. Uh, say I want to display like this, like five into one equal to five. Like this table tax. Uh, now, can you write for loop in HTML? Can you write HTML for loop in HTML? No for loop, no if condition, no logic, nothing. Can you write? No, HTML presentation language. Your data you can present in different formats. That's it. Okay, that is, is it. Programming language? No, it is presentation language. You can present the data only tags, attributes, no other things in HTML. Okay, uh, like presentation language, you can present the data. That's it. No logic, no condition, no error, no exception. Errors also will not come. No, if browser understands output. Browser not understand, no output. That's it. No error, no exception, nothing. Uh, this type, if you want to write table tags, you have to write. Okay. But for loop, you can write with JSP. Table tags, you can write with HTML. Like that, you can write no. Uh, say new JSP. Uh, suppose table dot JSP. Uh, this is a little bit confusion will be there. Listen with concentration. Listen with concentration. Little bit confusion will be there. Uh, see, suppose if you want to write with HTML, if you want to write with HTML, uh, what you'll write? What you'll write? Table, uh, something border. Uh, next, next, what you'll write? TR, uh, one TR close. Uh, next, TD, uh, five, uh, TD close, TD into TD close, TD, one TD close, 
equal to td close td phi uh, td close let us see right now uh, suppose this is i want 100 times this is i want 100 times uh, this code if you want to write 100 times one for loop required uh, now for loop we have to start here for integer i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus uh, here for loop open for loop open uh, here for loop close okay uh, now now you observe here table uh, this is html 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 uh, this is jsp uh, again it is html written it is jsp close okay uh, now this is for loop if you want to write uh, which element you have to write declaration or scriptlet or expression scriptlet okay it is inside the service scriptlet uh, scriptlet open uh, here scriptlet open suppose if you close the scriptlet here error reason inside the scriptlet html you cannot write like this if you want to write it again, again out, out dot dot intel in your right so what, what you can do, do? Out, out dot dot print print. out dot dot print print. Print. you can you write, write double quote start, start here, here. here. Uh, double quote end here. Here. here like let's see all value out, out, out dot out. again I html will be written html like this will be written so it is it but if you write like this again no use of jsp if you write like this okay that's what 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 i just observed it is scriptlet open open scriptlet i will close here only. only okay okay uh, then you can write right outside, outside here here scriptlet open, open. 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 scriptlet close, close here. here now now for the loop open. open okay okay open open in purpose for scriptlet, scriptlet. close in purpose, purpose for scriptlet. more scriptlet but but come come we can write right in dot 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 No. No. No, you observe for loop open. For loop open for that one scriptlet. For loop closed one for that one scriptlet. Now it is HTML you can write freely. It is outside the scriptlet now. Outside the scriptlet, but here I value require no I. Uh, now I, I if you write I displayed. I value if you want to display JSP required. Uh, JSP which one required? Declaration or scriptlet or expression? Expression directly printed. So only here expression right. What it? Uh, here. Here phi into i require no? uh, what you have to write again expression phi into i uh, with the JSP. This is somewhat confusion. You have to take care. We observe HTML, HTML, HTML. This line JSP again HTML, HTML, HTML. Only this part JSP. This part JSP like this. You can write okay. Uh, here, which element required and how to select, when to select, that is little bit confusion. But uh, directly, like a normal solid type, you cannot write. Solid type, if you want to write, every line again out dot print line concept you have to apply. Okay. 
so if you little if you concentrate if you little bit if you put efforts jsp becomes easy otherwise solid is better appears as compared to this okay otherwise solid is better appears this program you observe already we written in solids how it is there you observe see how we written for loop uh, out out dot printl pw dot printl and this program already in solids i taught see this much code you have to write and also these all class all those things required no? uh, but it is convenient way it is convenient way it is better no okay uh, see here for loop opening purpose one scriptlet for loop closing purpose one scriptlet here printing i value scriptlet printing phi into i value scriptlet uh, expression here expression here expression Uh, now, if I execute this program, see, table dot JSP. See, multiplication table ten times. If you want hundred, hundred times. See, it is generated ten times. HTML format comes again. All right, this program. Now, if you want to write comment, comment syntax also you studied. JSP program to display multiplication table. JSP program to display multiplication table. This is you have to take care while writing scriptlets, declarations, expressions. You have to take care. Somewhat confusion will be there. Not on.
uh, is it over uh, in the place of expression can i write scriptlet uh, then what we have to write out dot println it is possible so in the place of expression you can write scriptlet also so here just we have to remove equal first is it over completed first you complete or uh, see in the place of expression you can write scriptlet uh, then out dot print ln i semicolon you can write like this again here you can remove this out dot print ln i phi into i you can write it is one more way okay otherwise only one scriptlet complete you can write Ah, uh, here you can remove. Here you can remove. But what you have to do is complete this code in out dot print and you have to write. Ah, uh, then what you have to do is out dot print and ah uh, out dot print and. Double quotes, uh, but double quote next line also not possible. You have to write like this only. Okay, out dot print the line. So let's see written like this only, no? So let's tell like this. Out dot print the line. So like this. Ah, uh, but here. Double quotes plus plus double quotes. So like this, you can write. Uh, again here double quotes plus plus double quotes so like this you can write but if you write like this again solid type of only appears you know okay that's what that is better so whatever i given that is only best approach This is best approach. Okay. Ah, uh, here writing for loop opening purpose one scriptlet for loop closing purpose one scriptlet. After that, here this is one expression. This is one more expression. That's it. Okay. Ah, uh, now. see you have seen this diagram if you want to write outside the methods inside the class outside the methods inside the class uh, what we have to write declaration inside the service method scriptlet inside the out dot println expression suppose if you want to write outside the class till i didn't explain Import statement outside the class. No, I didn't explain. Suppose if you want to write the code inside the init method, till I didn't explain. Inside the init method also will write no connection establishment code where we written in solids init method connection close code destroy method. Ah, uh, but that is if you want to write, I didn't explain till till so many concepts are there not completed. Introduction only this is okay. Ah, uh, now. That is also possible inside the init method, outside inside the destroy method, outside the class. Those also possible. Uh, we'll see. Uh, suppose uh, 
next task suppose it is login.html uh, here login form login form uh, next year username and password Uh, submit button, reset button, we can write. Okay, submit, reset, uh, whatever you type, username, password. Uh, it has to, when you click on submit button, it is JSP program. Suppose login.jsp. Uh, I want to receive username. I want to receive password after receiving. Now, without database connection, with a database connection, also I'll explain. Uh, first, without database connection, if the username is ABC and password is XYZ, I want to display welcome. Else, I want to display invalid. Okay. Uh, now, it is without database. With the database, also I'll explain. It is without database, only username, ABC, password, XYZ, then welcome. Any other username, password, invalid. All right, this one. Here, username, password received by JSP program now. Now, username is ABC and password XYZ welcome. Else, invalid username, password. One HTML, one JSP. Now, it is without database. It is only for one user. Username should be ABC, password should be XYZ, then only welcome. If you enter any other username, any other password, invalid. But if database is there, many users possible. With the without database, one user only possible. Over. Uh, now, this is nothing already you have seen. This is important. JSP. It is HTML. Okay. It, as it is, only action equal to login.jsp will write. There, login action equal to URL pattern will written. But here, JSP profile name will write. Uh, is it completed? Uh, see. Right click new HTML. Uh, this HTML page already you have seen.
on level one heading underline text login form uh, here form tags uh, method equal to what we are trying post action equal to login dot jsp previously we written url pattern now jsp uh, username input type equal to text uh, suppose name equal to your name line break password this already you started no next reset uh what is your name what is the word request parameter names what is username password uh this is jsp file name when you click on submit this is going to be executed when you click on reset this field data erased uh this is you already studied many times uh, right this one so whenever submit button is clicked then form action equal to login dot jsp executed if it is solid will write url pattern if it is jsp jsp file name but even jsp file also if you want to configure it is possible again for this one also url pattern we can write but it is unnecessary no use here also url pattern you can write you can write configure in xml that is also possible or uh, your name p word request parameter names username password labels uh, is it over this is many times you have seen already 
this solid html program now login.jsp uh, now what we have to write how to write give me answer i'll write okay first is it over uh, right click new jsp login.jsp uh, now first of all username password we have to receive uh, how to receive which method we call get parameter get parameter method in which interface get parameter method in which interface HDB solid request or solid request? Solid request. Solid request, not HDB solid request. But uh, with HDB solid request reference can I access? Yes, because that is super interface. This is sub interface. Uh, with this request, can I call? Yes. Uh, what is the return type of that method? String. Uh, what we have to write? String s1 yes, equal to request dot get parameter parameter name your name uh, same style string s2 yes, equal to request dot get parameter p word okay uh, now now this code where we are trying scriptlet or declaration or expression scriptlet uh, I'll open the scriptlet. I'll close the scriptlet. In between, I'm writing. We can write now. Uh, no. Username retrieved, password retrieved. Uh, if condition. Uh, what do you have to write? If we have to check whether it is ABC or not. How to check? Equals operator or equals method? Equals method or operator? Multiple. That is a core Java class I explained. In advanced Java class also explained. Equals method or operator. Uh, method what it will do, operator what it will do. Method compares content. Operator as code. Uh, now what we have to check? Content. ABC or not, you have to check. Uh, what we have to write? Method. Uh, so what we have to write? S1 dot equals ABC. Uh, next. And S2 dot equals XYZ. Uh, then we have to display welcome message. Uh, out dot println welcome. Okay. Uh, else we have to display out dot println invalid username or password see exact task code only we written exact task code only we written you observe remaining no need to write okay uh, you can if you want to display html for colors all those things you can add it Uh, something whatever you want you can write otherwise plain text displayed uh, now for both same color displayed see if it is solid you have to implement packages you have to create you have to write class you have to write service method do get method do post method then you have to write this code but here what we did see directly we written task exact task code we written uh, now, right click, run as, run on server, save, save. Uh, login dot HTML. See, login dot HTML. Uh, you can type ABC XYZ submit say welcome 
back if you enter any other password invalid okay any username any password invalid only abc xyz valid like this okay all right this program login dot jsp Is it over? No, is this program are not connected to database? Suppose I, I want to check in database, even username and password exists or not. And then, first of all, connection establishment required. Connection establishment in solid switch method be written? Init method. Uh, but init method, if you want to write a code, I didn't explain. Uh, later, task code, service method, uh, like this, you can write. Uh, later connection will lose destroy method but outright destroy method outright init method code here uh, that is before going to that one first converted solid life cycle you should know uh, next node is it over uh, next is it over completed Oh, no, 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 converted solid or it is called JSP solid life cycle methods. Converted solid or JSP solid 
life cycle methods. JSP init underscore JSP service JSP destroy JSP init underscore JSP service JSP destroy for this one no underscore for this one no underscore for this one only underscore JSP init underscore JSP service JSP destroy uh, you studied when init method called by web container whenever first request comes to a solid as uh, when service method called by web container every request uh, when destroy method called by web container Whenever solid instance removed, when solid instance is going to be removed, application undeployed or server shuts down. Uh, same style here, method names different. Here, JSP init, it is underscore, here underscore is there, here underscore not there. Okay, JSP init, underscore JSP service, JSP destroy. Uh, here, these two methods in one interface, this is another interface. Uh, now I'll give, is it over? So here, first request comes, JS, first request comes, JSP init and service. Already you studied, when first request comes, how many methods called? Two methods, init, service. Second request, third request, last request, uh, that is, so first request comes JSP init and underscore JSP service. Second request only underscore JSP service. Third request, fourth request, last request, same, same scenario. Okay. Uh, now write it. JSP init method and JSP destroy method are the part of Jakarta dot solid dot JSP dot JSP page interface JSP init method and JSP destroy method are the part of Jakarta dot solid dot JSP dot JSP page interface underscore JSP service method is a part of jakarta.solid.jsp.http jsp page interface So in this interface, these two methods are there. In this interface, this method is there. JSP init method, JSP destroy method are the part of this interface. Underscore JSP service is a part of HTTP JSP page interface. Uh, this is only information I given where it is and about this very depth we'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow database connection also explain here.
or online students or ravi after jsp you will see mvc also uh kadar yeah mvc architecture type i'll explain one program uh any other doubts second dot jsp program second dot jsp program here second dot jsp okay i uh, will see continuation tomorrow one minute um, when this course is going to be completed harsh yeah course still 10 15 days required a uh, venu venu that is already in solid site taught out dot print i didn't get what is your doubt venkat okay we'll see continuation tomorrow